What's up guys? This is having fun with weapons part 42. I just set the set some weapons up like this for the thumbnail. I didn't break anything. I just set them up like that. So that it looked cool for the thumbnail. And I decided just to tell you which weapons I'll be testing in this. In this one I'll be smashing a coconut and two things of ice and just two bottles full of water and chop at and stuff. So I got the wooden Thor hammer out again. The second one I made, the one for testing, which one of these days I plan on just going crazy and seeing how much this can take before it breaks, which probably isn't much. And then I got Axel out. I haven't had this guy out in a while. I'm planning on making a better version. Might make one fully out of metal by casting it or something. Then I got the weapon from Kick A2. The name of what I mean by Kick A will be on the screen. I just can't. Don't prefer to say that on YouTube. Don't want to get the video removed for one word that I say. And then we got the problem solver. The second one I made, the one I made for testing. Because I don't want to break the original one because I had had the original one for a long time. I got the second board of education that I made for testing as well. And yeah. Gotta take the picture for the thumbnail now. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be smashing is a coconut. I'm going to use the problem solver on that. So the first weapon I'm going for is the Board of Education on just a bottle of water. And then the second weapon I'm going for is the wooden Thor hammer, the second one I made. On just, no wait, sorry, axle on just a bottle of water. And then the wooden Thor hammer on ice. And then the uh, weapon from Kick A2 on ice, and then everything else on ice, and then the coconut. Also, this is the, will be the biggest piece of ice I've broken. Hope everything looks good for you guys. I can't really see the view on the phone screen because of my mask. It's kind of messing with me. a bunch of holes in it. And the handle on that thing sucks. It felt terrible when I hit. Axel, one of the best ones I have in this video. Out of all of them, this is probably the second best made one. Also, a little note you guys should take about this one is it needs sharpened. It hasn't been sharpened in a while and it's not the best I can make. I'm going to make a new version of this. I explained what I might do at the beginning of the video. But look forward to a build video for this but a better one. Thor hammer. Ice. 
exactly what I expected. It like <laughs> like fractures in it. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. If you can't, just let me know. I think I might stop using my Deadpool one for a while so I can see better. But if you can see the fractures and the cracking in, in there, then that's what I was trying to show you. So I'm going to hit a couple more times with the wooden Thor hammer. I don't think I got that. Right. I don't know if you guys can see, but the, there's a wall right there. This flew, hit the wall, and then fell. It has a big dent right there. Busted off ice pretty much in a bottle. That's all the wooden Thor hammer really does. I'll be testing the wooden Thor hammer on a coconut one of these days. But I might need to take a quick break. My nose is running. I'm a bit sick. That's why I haven't uploaded any videos. Okay, let's get to the next weapon so we can get to that coconut. Just gonna use the same ice. I know if I, this was like an accurate test or anything, I wouldn't be too fair for this weapon. But this weapon, I'm probably just gonna completely break one of these days just for fun. Basically, it'd just be the same as being hit with four golf clubs or one golf club. One golf club, honestly, would probably do better. It's getting away of each other. Let me try hitting with the one that's sticking up further. Oh. Stick. A freaking stick just blew up and hit me in the leg. Not really doing much, but the vibration of that sucks. If you're wondering why I keep having to go over here, I'm keep checking the time to make sure I'm not running out of time. I gotta delete stuff off my phone again. Okay. I think I'm just gonna skip beating up the block of ice but with everything and just go to the coconut because I'm running low on time. So I'm gonna get the problem solver and hit that coconut that I have. I wouldn't be too surprised if this breaks. I wouldn't really care if it broke, but... Coconut. Problem solver. Meeting together. If you guys could have seen my facial expression, but there's no damage to this. Just the coconut kind of went bad on the inside a bit, and it's everywhere. Just like with the extra large baseball bat, I'll take you up and show you. The coconut's kind of moldy on the inside. It still smells kind of good though. So this is what happened to the coconut. I'm gonna save the piece of like the outside layer of coconut, but the inside stuff is disgusting looking. That's gonna be fun to clean off of that later. Probably just dump some water on it, rinse it off. 
There's a big piece over there. Oh my god, that's so slimy and weird. That. Ugh. Look at that. Maybe. Oh. Planning on getting another coconut soon. Fun. I hear funny story. Well, it's funny to me. I found a coconut at Walmart that had that was completely empty on the inside. It was just empty because you normally shake a coconut and you can hear the liquid move around in it, but that one was, had no liquid at all. There was no holes, nothing in it. Just empty. So now I got to clean up some bottles. I'm going to collect all the pieces of coconut and possibly make some necklaces for my friends because that's what I did last time. I made two necklace pieces and gave it to my friend and he put them on necklaces or is going to. And another, and then I gave pieces of coconut to my other friends because they wanted a piece. I'm probably going to make necklace pieces for some of my other friends that I haven't made anything for in a while. Make something that fits their personality. Yeah. Just want to let you go. I'll probably do a video sh making some necklaces out of the coconut pieces. And show you what all I make. I might make a second channel where I do stuff like that. Oh, there's a good piece of coconut. Here's a piece of coconut. Piece of coconut. I wish I would have had a slow mo camera for that. There's one piece of coconut. So, hope you guys have a nice day, summer, winter, wherever you are. Just hope you have a nice day, night, whatever it is for you that are watching. Yeah. Share, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification and all that good stuff. Just drawing a blank right now. All I can think of is how amazing it feels when you smash a coconut. The first ever smash I've done with a coconut was much better than that one. Because it was so satisfying to actually smash, smash one with something I've created. It was fun. So, that's all for today.